Prince Harry recounted his life of military service. He spent 10 years in the military and served two tours in Afghanistan, whilst reflecting on the reverence the U.S. have for their armed forces. His speech came amid a week of remembrance of those who fought or lost their lives in conflict on behalf of their country, ahead of Veterans Day in the U.S. and Remembrance Day in the U.K. He addressed his audience, Nothing was more valuable than the time I got to spend with my soldiers in a shell scrape, eating an MRE in the back of a tank. He then joked, thanks for the swaps. He continued to reminisce about, flying a mission overhead knowing those below were safer, or making each other laugh when it was needed the most. My experience in the military made me who I am today, and I will always be grateful for the people I got to serve with, wherever in the world we were. During his speech, he said, throughout my time in the military and after, I recognized and understood that for many who have served or are still serving, it might not feel right to stand out amongst the team and be recognized. But you deserve to be, and tonight, whether you like it or not, that's what's happening. In his speech, Prince Harry continued, I'd also like to speak briefly about something else that, until recently, has existed in the darkness the invisible wounds that we are all susceptible to. The scars on the inside that no one sees. For too long, invisible injuries were treated as just that, invisible, and were destined to be swept under the rug at the risk of shame, guilt, or just a lack of understanding. Yet we now know that the mind is just like a muscle. It experiences trauma and pain, whether in conflict or at home, whether in uniform or not. He added, that's a belief I held when we pioneered HeadFit, a first-of-its-kind resource for service members and those working across UK defence, to train their minds just like they do their bodies. Prince Harry stated in his speech, that's why I created the Invictus Games. Not only to honour the legacy of those who have given so much, but to show everyone else what we know, that the men and women who have experienced service injuries, as well as their families, are the strongest people in the world. They deserve a platform to be seen, a platform to be recognized, and a platform to be truly celebrated.